he's got, uh, he has, he needs to go to anger management classes, <laughs> definitely. There's this kid. He's in trouble. Move or die. This feels like it is the best role ever that a teen boy could ask for. You get to swear, you get to scream, <laughs> you get to throw fire. Tell me a little bit about what it was like playing Russell. He needs to go to anger management classes, <laughs> definitely. Um, no, it was amazing being able to um, play this character because, as you said, you can tell from the math from the trailer that he, you know, he shoots fire. Um, and it was really cool because I've always wanted superpowers since I was a little kid watching, going to go watch the Avengers or the X-Men movies with my mm -hmm. mates as a kid. Um, and then you're actually on set and they had the dots on your hand and you're mm. sort of just like, uh, uh, and you like look really stupid. But then you, you know you're gonna, it's going to look good afterwards. Yeah, amazing. So I guess because you're not actually handling fire, but I'm assuming there's fire around you at different yeah. points. What was it like being on set for all of that? Because I feel like that was such a, a huge action blockbuster compared to some of the other stuff that you've done before. Yeah. yeah. It was really hot, <laughs> really hot because they, they would have like, um, don't have like a building on fire behind me and I'm like sweating, I'm really hot. Do you get it like um, a sweat break where you're like, I just need a second? Yeah, 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 yeah. Had this guy would, this lady would come over and spritz me and then wipe me down and then spritz <laughs> me and check on some makeup and then run off. It's a tough life, isn't it? So yeah, it was really, and your eyes would get really dried up so you'd be like blinking a lot. So <laughs> I got really hot, but no, it was amazing being able to work with fire and a lot of safety guys there as well. So. Yeah, right. And I guess um, obviously there is quite a, a bit of swearing as expected. Yeah. And your mom probably was there during all of this, yeah? yeah? How did she react to, I guess, all the swearing, but also watching the movie and seeing, like, you know, the, the violence? Because I was like, huh, ah, yeah. like that. What was that like for your mom? Um, I feel like she was, she was probably a bit worried because um, I do have some colourful language in it. Um, and I'm not, I don't normally swear. as like, I don't, like, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not that kind of teenager. So I reckon for mum, it was like, you know, um, don't go home and expect that you can do this at home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so she was really, she was really, I guess, really nice about it. And yeah. And when you watch, when uh, you've seen the movie now, I'm assuming in the last couple of days, and mm. when you're looking back... I saw it yesterday, yesterday afternoon for amazing. the first time. Wow, that's so yeah. crazy. There was one scene where Ryan falls, um, it's in the prison. Yeah. And he's protecting you and he lands on his back and he's kind of like, just this broken body. Yeah. I was like, oh, like had a physical reaction. What was that like for you watching all of the um, really intense? When when Wade jumps and hits Cable and that was, they actually did that stunt for real. Wow. So they wired them all up and it happened. It was weird because it was just this weird deformed mannequin. Yeah. And for like half a day it was just laying there. So everyone was sort of just looking at it and like, oh. <laughs> just, no, but um, the really gory things, it was funny, like a lot of, a lot of shooting and a lot of blood and like when he's ripped in half and stuff, there's a lot of, there's just a lot. Yeah, it was really weird, cause I'm not like, I don't like gory movies. Like I don't watch gory horror movies yeah. or zombie movies. So it yeah, was different right. though. I enjoyed watching it. It looked really cool like while watching the film. Amazing. And so when you, um, I guess, got the role, did you actually audition for the part or was it that you met yeah. with Ryan? Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess I sort of auditioned. So we were in LA for about two weeks just talking to some production companies, and um, we saw Deadpool 2, and I hadn't seen the first one. I'm like, oh, I don't know, Mum, there's a lot of swearing in this film, and I don't know about it. And we went to go meet David Leach, the director, in LA, and then he's like, oh, yeah, Ryan's coming. I'm like, oh, I must be a producer. <laughs> Ryan Riddle comes out in, like, this Christmas sweater. Um, <laughs> and it was really awesome meeting him, and they told us, like, the whole, you know, storyline and blah, 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 and we're like, whoa. Um, and he's like, yeah, we'd love you to come back and we'll give you this little draft of a script and you can learn that overnight and come over. So we did, went to his hotel room, got to meet his wife, Blake, and Amazing. yeah, it was really cool. We just went through some lines and scripts and then a few weeks later we got a call and like, we really want you to be in the film. I'm like, okay, yeah, love Amazing. To do it. I think I only have time for one more question. Mm. So I know you spent some time with Jacinda Arden uh, recently. Mm. I mean, I feel like she is this super powerful, amazing woman anyway, but if you could give her a superpower, what would it be? Oh, I reckon she has a really good, like, yeah, she's a, she's a really powerful woman and really, you know, she's changing the world. Um, I would probably give her the power of, like, a really, like, you know how, like, like when your mum stares at you when you're doing something bad <laughs> and you're sort of like, okay, like that? Yeah. Because she has, she, she has a baby arriving, so yeah. when she can tell off the kid, she'll just stare at it. <laughs> and then I'll be like, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> or like any person, then she'll just like stare at her, or like stare at them and she'll be like, 
And they'll be like, okay, I'm gonna stop. It's like the brutal. Like a really scary stare. Yeah, like the brutal mum stare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is where you're like, yeah, I'll like never what do mum does wrong all again. the time to me. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm touching stuff, I shouldn't be touching. Amazing. <laughs>